Part-time educators are important people in the endodontic teaching team because they bring real-life experiences to the endodontic program. If he finds out about a little trick or a new procedure, he can't wait to go show his residents. His passion for teaching is unbelievable. When we do our surgeries, he's standing there directly beside us, handing us instruments, talking us through, so it's that back and forth communication. The patients who arrive at my chair, who have seen him, are the best educated patients. They know it was done, they know why it was done, they know how it was done, they know what needs to be done afterwards. There's this expression, you know, those who can do, but those who can't teach. Well, knowing Steve, it just had to be rewritten. So those who can do, those who really can, and understand why, teach. Steve brings to the program is this ability to fix anything and everything. If you need your camera rewired through the ceiling, easy. If you can't get, get a perch out of the canal a certain way, easy, you just bend an instrument. If you need a retractor to stay a little more stable, easy. He'll just turn around and bend the retractor and it'll work. He's up there in the ceiling, he's rewiring, he's splicing, he's taping. You know, plumbing, electricity. I think he's better than MacGyver. <laughs> I've watched the MacGyver show. He's better than MacGyver. He is the MacGyver of the dental community. Congratulations again, Steve, for an honor well-earned and well-deserved. You're essentially a role model for everyone who should be teaching. Congratulations, Steve, on this fantastic award. Congratulations on receiving the Tornick Award. When we were in school, you were always the person that we could turn to when we needed help getting something done. You're, You're the, the bomb, bomb, Steve. We love, love you, bro. bro. No surprise that you won this award. We know that you put all of your heart and soul into everything that you do, including being a great dad and a great grandpa. So. We love you, Pop. He's actually been, you know, my mentor, my friend, my colleague, my business partner, and most rewarding of them all is really my husband. Congratulations, love, on a well-deserved award. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life together. I am honored and humbled to be the recipient of this year's Calvin Tornick Part-Time Educator Award. I would like to take this opportunity to express my appreciation and thanks to all of those who played a pivotal role in this achievement. First and foremost, I am grateful to the AAE Honors and Awards Committee for their nomination and selection. The candidate pool must have been diverse and talented, making your job even more difficult and this award all the more meaningful. Among the many mentors in my life, I am particularly grateful first to my dad for instilling in me his work ethic and sense of fairness. The lessons he passed on to me continue to guide and motivate me to excel. Professionally, Warren Rudner was the first to spark my love of endodontics and teaching. I.B. Bender instilled a thirst for knowledge and perpetual curiosity. George Stewart was the epitome of quiet competence and his calm demeanor was both reassuring and inspiring. Fred Barnett is an amalgamation of all three of these men and continues to be an invaluable colleague and friend to this day. To all my residents, past, present, and future, I am grateful that you share with me your drive, enthusiasm, curiosity, and dreams. I have always told you that you are my teachers and the psychic payback I have received from you is more than I could ever repay. To my son, you are a living reminder of my father's legacy in so many ways. You were my first and most important student, and I thank you for your patience and unselfish sharing of your precious time. Finally, I would not have accomplished any of this without the love, support, and guidance of the most important woman in my life. She is my professional partner, financial manager, guidance counselor, confidant, confessor, and cheerleader all rolled into one. None of this would have been possible without you, Jeanette. 
You allowed me the space to grow, an opportunity to express my talents and dreams. I don't know what I did to deserve you, but I am grateful for you most of all. I cannot say thank you or I love you often enough.